Hello creatives, welcome back to my channel and day six of the 12 designs of Christmas. Let's create a Christmas mug. So this one's gonna be typographical style. So I'm going to put in a little phrase here, starting with the first word, I'm going to type out dashing. And I'm just gonna rifle through some of the font options here on the properties panel. And I think I found a good one. I'm going to do freestyle handwriting script font. Um, it's kind of like it's a handwriting font and freestyle and is a really nice one. It makes it look like you would just write a marker. So I'm going to increase the size of that one. And the next font I'm going to choose will be for the words through the. And I wanted a really nice simple serif font. Like one that's really really simple you don't really notice it too much that'll just break up the difference between the handwriting script font and for the next font i wasn't sure what i wanted to do but i knew that the word coco needed to be in a different font or a more fanciful font so I'm rifling through some of these i'm going between script and handwriting i'm not really sure what I'm looking for, I just know the type of feeling I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate Coco and sift through some more font choices here on Adobe Fonts. I like this one in the bold. I'm just working with some options I have here. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and work on coffee because the one that I have right there for Coco, I like more. So for coffee, I'm doing another script font. I kinda wanna see the differentiation between them. I don't know exactly which font is better in this case. I think I'm leaning more towards the bottom because the top one has too many ligatures. I think I'm gonna do the bottom one. I'm just increasing the kerning, which is the space in between letters in a font. It fills up more of the space. I'm just gonna replace the coffee though from the above to the one that I had below. And I like the one that I have below, but then I just said, mm, what if I just took the font from Dashing, that same font from Dashing, and applied it to the word Coco? So now they are both using the same freestyle font, and I increased the stroke on the word Coco. Now moving on to Coffee. Took that one to the bottom one that I liked, the thicker weight one, and I put that on the bottom. So I'm just going to recolor these and I'm gonna make a nice Christmassy green. And then because it's coffee, I figured I would make some coffee beans. Coffee beans are really very simple. So it's just a spherical tool and I just manipulated those points to make it look like a bean. And then I added a gradient, a nice linear gradient for the dark middle part of the bean and the light edges. So I had that f on both sides of the word cocoa because they also kind of look like cocoa beans. Cocoa beans and coffee beans look pretty similar. So I decided to change the font color of cocoa to a nice light goldy brown just to make it stand out a bit more. I'm really liking the look of everything so far just trying to make sure everything is in the right spot and sized correctly. I think the last step is going to be making sure all the spacing is correct, so enjoy this little montage of that. And here is the finished product. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you again for day 7.